as usual, PAX is freaking insane and super crowded and crazy. I don't know what to make of it, but would, would I rather be somewhere else? No. This is this is a weird, enjoyable kind of chaos, and I love it. As you're, you're, oh, speaking of which, oh hey, cosplayers. PAX, the Penny Arcade Expo. Once a year it's held, and it holds a special place in our hearts. But now it's over. And now my heart, like my bank account, feels empty. But the experiences, and the swag, are definitely worth it. This year was particularly awesome because I wasn't just resigned to cramming everything into one day. I got to go three days out of the four. Uh, my brother, lucky shit, got to go all four days, but, <laughs> you know. I'm not jealous. Much. <laughs> and this was a total surprise. This was a basically last minute thing for me. I didn't I didn't know I was going until by miracle uh, a friend that I had met last year at a panel uh, messaged me and and uh, offered me the tickets to go. So hell yeah. I leapt on that like a fat kid on cake. So basically like my brother. That sounds so mean, but but I don't think you would disagree. He does love cake. Hell, I love cake. I want some cake. Of course, there's the typical swag stuff, the stickers, informative postcards, buttons and pins. I've started collecting enamel pins now. What has my life become? On the first day, we mainly stayed on the main expo hall, checking everything out. We were going to be there for pretty much every day, so we didn't need to rush. We were able to take our time with it this year. We got to check out the Behemoth booth. And guess what, guys? Castle Crasher is going to be on the Switch. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for that. I loved Castle Crashers. It's a great little co-op game. Me and my brothers would play it. And I want it. I want it for the Switch. I don't know why. I'm just, like, really wanting more games for the Switch right now. It might be a phase. It's not a phase, Dad! We got to try out a whole bunch of new games. My brother already knew about it, but this was my first time hearing about it. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Uh, if you know about it, you know what it's gonna be about. And hopefully you're as excited about it as I am, because that's a fun game! Now, as usual, the lines were obscenely long, so we didn't get to see everything or play every game that we wanted to. But that's okay! I didn't get to go Saturday, sadly. But I did get to go on Sunday, and then we got to explore some more, and I can't remember what we did. It's all just a blur. I was just like a wide-eyed schoolboy exploring a new world for the first time. That's bullshit. Sunday was more or less our quote-unquote relax at the PAX day, where we just did whatever, and uh, it didn't matter what it was. We got to try out the remastered Mega Man Zero ZX collection, which, honestly, I'd never played before, but um, my brother is a big fan of the Zero series, so that was that was on our list for his sake, mostly. And I enjoyed it myself, too. Got to watch the gameplay for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Weren't able to get in line to play the game, though. It was so insanely popular that every time we tried to go, the line was completely booked or... Yeah, pretty much booked every single time we tried. But we got to take a pretty nifty photo with the bike. Well, on our way to the last day of PAX. Sad panda. It's been a long, exhausting, Four days, but totally worth it. Indeed, indeed. A few things to finish up for today. Then yeah. We go home with our heads held to the side because we're too tired to keep them up. Me and my brother went halves on the latest Legend of Zelda book by Dark Horse Books. There's probably going to be a bit of fighting to see who gets to read it first. Wait. And I probably spent more time at the Hypercon booth than I should have. I mean, we had a pretty lengthy conversation about it. I, was, I don't know if you know this, but I, I'm kind of sort of a fan of 
Hyperkin and their products, which all started when I got my Retron 5. And while I was there, discovering new things, because we kept finding different floors that we hadn't seen the previous day, and we're like, oh, this is new, we haven't been here yet! We randomly came across the Retrotainment System booth, where I f saw this. Haunted Halloween 86 for the NES. Yeah, that's a br it's a brand new game and they made copies of it for the NES. I'm one of the weirdos that would if there's the chance of a physical copy of a game, I'd prefer that over a digital copy. I know, kind of backwards thinking in this day and age, but you don't know my life. I got a chance to play a little bit of it to to get an understanding of it, see if I'd like it. And I liked it, so I had to buy it. And I bought one of the last remaining copies with the box, dust sleeve, and instruction manual, just like the old days. The ancient days of the 1980s. Ooh. I don't know what that was supposed to be. We did get to see some awesome new games, and, and, and even won a copy of a new game that recently came out, so... <laughs> That's awesome. There's this game called uh, Decay of Logos. I may be pronouncing that wrong, but who knows? Maybe you're pronouncing that wrong. That's actually according to the developer that was talking to us about it. Uh, even the pronunciation of the of the game's name is a mystery, or is intended to be a mystery. You let a few things about the plot slip, but that's just the basics, and everything else, it's up to you to either discover or infer. You're just thrown into it with no explanation of what's going on or why, and you just figure it out as you go. Conceptually like the uh, games of old, where you just jump in and go. No hand-holding whatsoever. I'll show you when the time is right, and I play it on the channel. But they were giving out copies of the game for people who uh, took on their challenge and won, which I still don't understand why I got a copy of the game, because I failed miserably. <laughs> Rather than starting over with a fresh start to the game, I let my machismo or whatever take over, and I picked up where the last guy left off when he died, and uh, failed miserably. At least I didn't die from the killer turnips. Oh. And there's one other thing that happened on Monday. I started talking with a couple of people about video games that we played growing up. And in the conversation, I mentioned that I have a YouTube channel. And when I said the name of my channel, the woman immediately goes, Oh, I heard of that channel. And I was, I was taken aback. Apparently she works with kids and one of them watches my channel. And that just brightened my day. I mean... The guy jokingly apologized for my small subscriber count, but I don't care. I didn't. I told him straight up. That pales in comparison to the knowledge bomb that uh, his friend dropped on me by that people are sharing my channel. It may just be one or two people, but I'm happy with that. So whoever you are that told Alyssa about my channel, thank you and keep being awesome. That kind of sounds conceited and narcissistic, I know, but but I don't know how else to to express gratitude. I'm a mess. So out of curiosity, how many of you were able to go to PAX? PAX West, PAX East, doesn't matter. If you got to experience it, let me know. Share your experiences in the comments. Let's discuss. I'm still kind of feeling the buzz from the weekend, and especially that that last part. So I hope to hear from you guys. And I hope to experience PAX at this scale next year, too. Being able to go all four days. You know. That's what I meant. It's been a couple months since I've done a video where I just talk at you guys. And with any luck, this one won't be as sporadic as they usually are. Or me being dumbfounded with the experience and not being able to talk in depth about everything that went on. Because I'm a dunce and I don't even think like that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you watched to the end, thank you. If you liked this one, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, especially like sharing your experiences with PAX or whatever convention you went to this year. I'd like to hear it all. Because there's so many conventions that I kind of want to start going to now. I've got the itch, and there's only one way to scratch it, and it's not more cowbell. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll a mix.